Clinging to a hillside in the heart of the severe Sicilian landscape, Gunji was recently voted the most beautiful village in Italy. But behind its picturesque facade lies a dark secret. Because for many years, Gunji was a mafia stronghold. It's hard to believe Gunji is real, clinging to an almost vertical hillside like a limpet. And for the people of Gunji, very, very beautiful, but very, very remote. Because of Gunji's isolation, it was once a favored hideout of the Sicilian Mafia. But in Mussolini, the Mafia was about to meet its match. I've arranged a rendezvous with assistant professor Manuela Patti, who studies the history of the Mafia. Manuela, what happens to the Mafia during the fascist period? In 1924, Mussolini visited Sicily. He visited a small village near Palermo where the mayor, Cuccia, was well known as a mafioso. And he uh, declared, Cuccia, that he could protect Mussolini. And so it was an outrage for Mussolini to be protected by uh, a mafioso, a, a man well known as a mafioso. Outraged by this presumption, Mussolini decided that the time had come to put the Mafia in its place by sending to Palermo a former policeman called Cesare Mori with orders to wipe the Mafia off the map. Mori trained his sights on Gunji. What did Cesare Mori do here in Gunji? Mori arrived in Sicily at the end of 1925. And he brought hundreds of carabinieri and policemen and also some black shirts of militia uh, in uh, Ganji, and he surrounded the village. Several days into the siege and with no sign of a mafia surrender, Mori ordered his men to start taking Ganji's women and children hostage. Then, one by one, the mafiosi gave themselves up. So after, there was mass trials against these mafia cosque groups, a sort of maxi trial where hundreds of mafiosi were uh, judged by courts. From 1926 and for the rest of the fascist period, is the mafia substantially disabled? Yes, in these years, uh, in reality, uh, this mass uh, arrest, this action was uh, useful to uh, stop the action of mafia gangs. <laughs> <laughs> 